guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Stellara and today I wanted to do something a little different with you guys. I wanted to take you on a tour of my garden. So last year I had a little patio top garden that made me really happy and so I wanted to do it again this year and even extend it up to our upstairs patio. So um, I wanted to take you guys on a little tour. So the first thing we're looking at here is the greenhouse. I bought this guy off Amazon for about $60. At the end of last growing season, I decided that there were a couple of plants that I wanted to try growing over winter, like kale and bunching onions, and then also a couple of my pepper plants that I wanted to try overwintering. So inside my greenhouse, I keep this little thermometer. It tells me the current temperature, the lows and the highs for the day, and then also the humidity. The first plant that we have is a cayenne pepper plant. This is one of the plants that did really well in my garden last year, and so I wanted to try and save it and preserve it for the next year. It's a little twiggy right now, but I'm really hoping that it'll come back after the winter's over. Here's some buttercrisp lettuce that I got from the local supermarket. I'm really excited about these because lettuce did really well last year, and I got a lot of good salad off of it. So I'm excited for these guys. And then we have some edamame. What's really cool about these is I actually grew these from seeds from last year. So I had dehydrated the seeds, saved them, and then they are just looking really beautiful this year. I'm so excited to see how they go because this is my first time saving seeds and then replanting for the next year. So wish me luck, guys. Next, we have some baby garlic. I'm hoping that these guys do okay. I had actually just transplanted these into a larger pot before I shot this video, so they're looking a little rough right now, and I'm hoping that they bounce back and do okay. Next, we've got these really pretty looking baby pea vines. I'm super excited for these, because not only are the vines themselves delicious, but also the peas that come off the plants. So these guys are looking really nice. I'll probably have to trellis them in a week or two. And last but not least in our greenhouse, we have some kale and some bunching onions. I planted these guys from seeds last November, December-ish, and they've been slowly but surely growing all winter. I think that they're just about ready to harvest, and I'll probably end up doing a cooking video with them soon. Just outside the greenhouse, we have a few more planter boxes. In this one, I have some habanero peppers and also a cherry bomb pepper plant. These are two more plants that did really well last year, and so I'm hoping to overwinter them. I actually stored them in the greenhouse up until last week, but we've been experiencing such nice warm temperatures in the Pacific Northwest that I decided to move them out. I'm really hoping to see some nice new growth on these stems soon. It would be super cool if these guys overwintered and came back to life this year. Right next to our pepper plants, I've planted a couple of shallots. And then I also wanted to try my hand at some edible flowers this year. So all four of these planter boxes have different kinds of edible flowers that I'm hoping to grow from seed. All right, guys, moving up to the upstairs deck. Um, this deck is a little bit space constrained, and so I was really excited when I found these kits at Home Depot. These are City Pickers Urban Gardening Kits, and they come with a tub, some rollers, they come with a water basin at the bottom, which is where that plastic tube goes. Also, the plastic liner that's on top and a rubber band to secure it. And these are actually really cool kits. The watering system makes it so that you don't have to water as frequently. The plastic liners help keep the heat in to help your plants grow and helps keep the soil moist. So far for these containers, I've picked up some onion sets. These guys are really cool because it's a little bit easier to grow them from onion sets than it is from seeds. But as you can see here, the set comes with 120 of these little guys. Um, a couple of the ones in my set were already sprouted, so I decided to take those because they were a surefire bet to grow. And planting the onions was really easy. I just filled my containers with potting mix and fertilizer according to the directions set my onion set inside, and then covered it with the plastic wrap and secured with a rubber band as directed as well. Um, then we cut some slits up at the top so that the top of my onions could stick out. And it's really cool because it's going to keep the heat inside the soil to help my onions grow, and then also keep the water from evaporating so quickly. And then I also bought a red onion set because we really like onions in my house. And so I did the same thing with the red onions. And then the last set that I bought was for potatoes. And so for the potatoes, you actually leave them to sit up in your windowsill for a week or two so that they start to sprout, as you can see on the edge of the potatoes here. Uh, then you cut them into pieces and then plant them in your garden, which I'll probably end up doing next week or so. And then just in case any of you guys are wondering, these are the products that I'm using. I'm using an organic potting mix and then also an organic fertilizer. I chose this particular fertilizer because it's a little bit better for growing fruiting plants as opposed to flowering plants. However, I will probably use a different fertilizer on my flower beds. 
guys, I really hope you enjoyed this garden tour video. I love my plant babies and just wanted to share them with you guys. So if you'd like to see more update videos as the season goes on, please leave a thumbs up. Also in the comments down below, let me know if there are any types of plants you'd like to see me try and grow. I do live in the Pacific Northwest, so it's a little bit difficult, but I would love to try out some new plants and see what happens. I will see you guys next week and until then, goodbye.